Did you know the first humans who landed on the moon were guided there by a computer that's weaker than your smartwatch? Yeah, seriously. On this day, July 16, 1969, Apollo 11 blasted off for the moon. And this is a replica of their actual flight manual. I backed this replica Apollo 11 flight plan project on Kickstarter years back, and it's one of my treasures, always on display right next to my Apple IIe. If you haven't figured out by now, I'm also a little bit of a space nerd too. So inside here, the exact procedures NASA used, and all of it was coordinated by the Apollo Guidance Computer, or AGC for short. That thing weighed about 70 pounds, had just 64 kilobytes of memory, and a two megahertz processor. And it's still got two astronauts safely to the lunar surface and back. Also, I've lost count of how many people have told me I look like Margaret Hamilton, the woman who led the software team and literally helped save the moon landing when the computer started throwing alarms. If you don't know, she's famous for that epic photo with a stack of Apollo code taller than she was. So I'll take that as a huge compliment. After all, Margaret and her team wrote the code that told Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, don't worry about those warnings, keep landing. Talk about vintage girl boss energy. So next time you text to the moon, remember, it all started with this, some genius code, a lot of courage, and a computer that makes your old Tamagotchi look high tech. Want to see more retro computing and space nerd history? Give me a follow and drop a rocket emoji if you think I should dress up as Margaret Hamilton for a video.